It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Holy Oat by Graf Brewhouse in Tromso in Norway, coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I'll actually be in Norway on the 29th of August. So in about five days time, I'll be in Norway. I'll be going to the wonderful, wonderful Bergen Beer Festival. Uh, so, so Graf, if you were there, come and say hi, come and say hello to me. Um, if you're watching it three weeks in the future, you've missed me. <laughs> uh, right, we got a one finger Whitehead, hazy as you like, oat filled pale ale. Uh, it looks absolutely terrific. At this stage of the review, I'd like to say, yep, yeah, um, this beer was sent by Graf Brewhouse, but it is an independent beer review. Aroma. It smells terrific. Absolutely terrific. Lots of grapefruit, lots of orange peel. Lots of citrusy notes coming through. You got a little bit of that oat, a little bit of the biscuit malt in there. Light, hazy, straw coloured beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a terrific, terrific beer. Lovely and grapefruity, lots of fleshy blood orange. I'm, I'm looking for the bitterness, I'm waiting for the bitterness. Here's the bitterness. Uh, I'm kind of thinking with the oat that it might be just a sake of a New World IPA. So lots of flavour up front, which you get. Lots of oat to kind of give it a nice rounded mouthfeel. And then not too much bitterness on the back end. But this has got the the best of both worlds for me. I am, yes, a fan of these massive upfront, mouth puckering, flavoursome pale ales and IPAs that seem to be all the trend. These these hazy beers of 2017 and 2018. Massive fan of them. But I'm also a massive fan of bitterness as well. Like I like that old kind of West Coast style IPA bitterness. I wouldn't say it's West Coast style IPA bitterness, but there's enough of a bitterness to give a bit of a, a bang on your palate. It just reminds you that you're drinking a pale ale or an IPA. Terrific stuff. Lovely, easy drinking beer. Lovely and refreshing. Uh, good lacing on the glass. Uh, there's some biscuit malt, as I said. You get a little bit of the taste of the oat. Tiny bit of sweetness. Then it's all flavoured. It's all kind of punch bowl fruits coming through. I've not been to Tromso in Norway. I've been to Bergen now. This will be my... How many times have I been to Bergen now? Uh, one, two, three. This is my fourth or fifth year going to Bergen every single year. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going courtesy of Lysifjord Microbrewery. My good friend Rune at the uh, at the brewery there um, is is kind of just sorting sorting out collaboration again for us. Um, so yeah, look out for us at the Bergen Beer Festival if you're there. By the time I post this video now, if you're there this week, if you're there on 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 the Saturday, I'll be this. Uh, Friday and Saturday, Friday and Saturday of next week. So that's the th 30th or the, let's have a look. It's the 31st and the 1st of August and September. 1st of September, 31st of, of August. Come and see me, come and say hi, come and share a beer. Um, most, most definitely would like to speak to you guys from Graf Brewhouse if you're going. I understand this is the biggest, the biggest, or well, one of the biggest beer festivals in Norway, so I'm looking forward to it. And I think it's the eighth year they've been doing it. So, so cheers to that, cheers to this beer, I'm gonna rate it. Holy Oat by Graf Brewhouse. For me it's a terrific beer, a really, really good tasting beer. It's a stone the crows for me, 
9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.